Oh my god, hello. <laughs> um, gotta get these wires out the face. Ah. Well, this is officially my first video in my camper. Is it done? No. I'm going to chit chat about that a little bit. Hi, my name is Rebecca, aka Vegan Bodega Cat. The audio in this video will be echoey because I haven't added insulation yet, but I really wanted to shoot the Q&A about the camper in the camper, so here we go. I asked you guys a few days ago to ask me questions about the camper, any questions you'd like, and I would answer them. So I'm trying to pull it up and answer your questions. Obviously, that is the point of a Q&A. If I can figure out how to pull it up. Ah, I have done it. Scroll to the bottom and let's go. Okay, for those of you, if you're like just tuning in, I built this camper with my dad over the course of the summer. It's not done yet, probably need another month or more of work, but we're getting closer to the end. I built it so that I could travel the US and review restaurants without having to, you know, get Airbnbs and hotels and stuff. So this Q&A will be about said camper. If you're interested in watching like building videos, I have a few of them on my channel and I'll put them in the same playlist that this video is going to be in. Do you think the DIY route was worth it for you personally? At the end of the day, yes, because just money wise, this camper, if I would have bought it completely assembled, would have been over $20,000 plus the trailer that it comes with officially, it would be like $23,000. And that is way too much money. It is more money than I have. So I literally couldn't have bought it pre-built. So my only option if I wanted this trailer, this camper was to build it myself. Um, was it a huge pain in the ass and I questioned my decision several times? Also, yes. However much work you think this thing is, like triple it in your mind. I loved watching your journey on YouTube, but I'm curious, would you do it again? Again as in a second camper? Hell no, never again. Again, as, as in like, if I would have known how much work it is, would I still decide to do it? Yes. Yes, I would. I also like, I had a great time spending the summer with my dad. Like now that I'm more of an adult, it's weird, weird to call myself an adult. I guess I am an adult. Now that I'm an adult, um, I don't have much in common with my dad anymore. So we didn't really spend a lot of time together, but this made us spend a lot of time together and that was really nice. And that was worth it alone. Someone's blowing leaves. I hope you can hear me over that. I'm so sorry. That is so annoying. So apparently my neighbor is blow drying his car with a leaf blower. That's what's happening right now. And I waited like 15 minutes for him to stop and he's still doing it. So we're just gonna ignore it and keep going with the questions. Okay. He stopped. Okay, okay, okay. Awesome. <laughs> um, what has been the total cost so far? I can give you an estimate. Hi, Daniel. I'm shooting a Q&A. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you started again. So the total cost so far, I can give you an estimate. Uh, the kit, the wood, and like most of the uh, like uh, hardware and stuff cost me about 2,700. The trailer was a thousand, so that's 3,700. Hitch install is gonna be like 400, so that's 4,100. Um, miscellaneous stuff, probably like $500, so that's $4,600. Oh, 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 varnish and stuff, uh, probably a couple hundred dollars. I think, like, now we're at $4,800. So, like, a little under $5,000. Um, oh, wait, wait, electrical. Electrical was like a thousand, so a little under $6,000. And all I need left to buy is, like, a mattress. So... Let's just say $6,000, $6,000, which is much less than if I bought it like fully done. Cause if you remember, it would be like $23,000, big difference, big difference. Um, and also a lot of time, like 300 hours of my time so far. Suggestions for someone who wants to assemble one by themselves. First, just make sure that you really want to do it. Make sure that you really want to do it. But number two, don't do it outside, do it inside. One of the main reasons why this is taking as long as it is, like much longer than I intended it to, is because I couldn't work on rainy days or humid days or hot days because of like the resin or the wood or whatever. Do it inside. And preferably have someone with you. There are like some parts where you just need someone else with you, but the, like it would be near impossible for me to have done this without my dad. Like 
it's definitely a two person job. Maybe you could do it as one person for like most of it, but like there are definitely parts where you just need a second person to like hold something down or carry something like it's a lot of work. Won't you be cold? Um, maybe, but I, I'll probably be fine uh, for a few reasons. First, I am getting insulation. I already have it. It's just not installed yet, number one. Um, number two, uh, my uncle for Christmas last year bought me a portable tent heater. So it's made to heat up tents. Um, kind of like a like a portable heater, except for it runs off a battery and, you know. So between the insulation and the heater, I should be fine. Did you name it? Uh, no. Maybe I will, but nothing's coming to mind yet. Do you wish you would have bought a camper that was already assembled? This specific one, I can't afford fully assembled. I said that earlier. A different one? Sure, yeah, that probably would have been way easier, but I couldn't find one at the time. When I was first looking for a camper, I couldn't find one that fit my needs. I definitely would have preferred finding one that fit my needs, but since I couldn't, this was my only option that I could afford. Would you have been able to complete this project without your dad's help? Uh, yes, because I'm, I'm an incredibly stubborn person. Well, yes and no. I definitely wouldn't have been able to do it if he, like, wouldn't have allowed me to use his garage and driveway. Like, because I don't have a garage or a driveway or anywhere to build this. So I could not have built it without him letting me use his garage and driveway to build. Now with his, like, physical help, yes, but I would have had to hire people to help me at certain points. Because this is, again, this is not a one-person job. Um, it would have taken me longer, it would have been a lot less fun. Um, honestly, like, I really, I'm so grateful that he decided to do this with me because it would not have been a good time without him. Like, it would have been so much harder, taking me so much longer, and I would have had to hire people to help me with certain aspects. I'm very grateful for his help. Very grateful. Where will be your first stop, and will you be making stops in between destinations? So because I'm probably going to have my first trip in December or January, uh, my first stop is going to be Florida, because it's going to be not cold. And I will most likely take a few stops along the way, maybe in North Carolina or something, or uh, Atlanta, or I'm not quite sure. Um, but I will be doing stops across, like, you know, along the way. But I think my first stop will be Florida, just because it's not cold there. Does your camper sleep too? Will Berto join you on the road occasionally? Yes and yes. Yes, my, my camper sleeps too. And yes, Roberto will join me along the road occasionally, uh, but not usually. Like, maybe we can make some trips together or something, but uh, most of these trips I'll be doing solo. But yeah, it does sleep too. Like... It's like my thing, like five feet wide, so that's enough for two people to sleep. Is your temperature controlled or solar powered? Uh, it's not temperature controlled, although I will have three fans installed. Uh, this one is one of them, the one that you saw the wires hanging out, out of. And then you have, where we have two smaller fans, one on either side. Um, and so that's gonna be like mostly for the heat and stuff and for general um, circulation. I also have mushroom vents. You can probably see one of them over there. Um, that's gonna help with circulation as well. So that's like mostly to deal with the heat. And then for the cold, I have a portable heater. Um, it's not currently solar powered because I would have had to invest into a much more expensive electrical system if it were to be solar power powered. So I decided to just have it run off of a marine battery for the moment. Do you regret it since it took that much time and effort? No, don't regret it. I'm really looking forward to fully utilizing it next summer. Will you be taking longer trips or shorter ones? Both. I'm going to take a few shorter ones and then probably plan like a really big one. What was the most rewarding part of the process? Uh, probably all the time I got to spend with my dad. But also, I think the most rewarding part is still to come. And that's going to be my first trip. What is the first meal you're going to eat in your camper once it's finished? I have no idea. Probably something easy to make, like a cold cut sandwich. How is the learning curve to fixing the camper? Easy or hard? I don't know what you mean by fixing, because I have not broken it yet, thankfully. Um, but the learning curve to like building it? It depends. If you're like a generally handy person that's used to building things, then it's like medium. But if you've had no experience in this, then I could imagine it would be quite hard. Despite taking way longer than you thought, has doing it with your dad made it worth it? Yes. Yes, it, it has totally been worth it. Did you and your dad watch a detailed video of putting it together or just instructions? 
just instructions. There's like a manual that comes with it that's... I wish it was more detailed because there are certain parts where I'm just like, I don't quite understand what's going on here and you kind of have to guess or use like previous experience of just like how to build things to make it. Um, but there is like a thick booklet that comes with the camper that kind of gives you step-by-step -step instructions and it was good enough. I wish there was a video. Will car tow okay? Will car tow okay? Do you have a set itinerary? Will you boondock on BLM land? I don't know what that means. I mean, my car will tow okay. I literally, like the car that I bought, one of the main reasons I bought it is because it tows good. Like it's a good tow car. Um, I got a Honda HRV, so I should be able to tow just fine. But what is boondock on BLM land. I don't know. Solar? Mini fridge? Ways of cooking? Or just heating up leftovers from vegan takeout? Uh, no solar, no mini fridge. I will have a cooler, and I think a cooler will be fine. I'll probably eat a lot of shelf-stable food, a lot of sandwiches, a lot of fruit, leftovers from videos that I end up shooting, and I'm pretty sure I'll, you know, learn the best ways to feed myself as I start the journey. What will your cooking setup be like? Uh, I have a propane stove that Roberto bought me for Christmas last year, so that's gonna be good for cooking stuff. And then I'm gonna get a cooler. And I think my approach is to buy as little as possible right now, and then just buy as I find a need. I've realized when starting something new, like, like a YouTube channel or something that you're just like not really familiar with. The best thing to do is to just start and then buy as you find a need for stuff. Because if you just like buy a shit ton of equipment like right up, you really don't know what your needs even are and you end up buying things that are lacking in certain things that you need, are lacking in certain features, or have features that you paid extra for that you didn't end up using, or just things that you pay extra for that you didn't end up using. Like when I started doing YouTube, I bought a gimbal and it was expensive. It was like $800 and I don't use the gimbal. And then when I started doing Instagram, I bought an expensive camera that I don't use because I use a vlogging camera. It's much better to find a need as you're doing something and then fill it versus trying to just buy all the stuff you need up front. Does that make sense? So that's what I'm gonna try to do. I'm also gonna try to like thrift as much as possible to outfit the camper with. I'm gonna start my journey with a mattress, blankets, cooler, propane tank, forks and knives and a plate, and just as I need, buy things. Like I'm not traveling out into the Sahara Desert. Like there's gonna be Walmarts out there and thrift stores, you know? Um, so I'm planning on just figuring stuff out as it happens. Uh, yeah, that is it. That is the video. I hope y'all got all your questions answered. I hope y'all are as excited for this as I am. Uh, oh, there's one thing I have to say. Okay, so my brother is the one who's gonna help me with the electrical. And unfortunately for the next three weeks, he's very busy. And perhaps even after that, I don't know. Uh, there is a chance that I'm gonna have to take my first trip with this camper with no electrical. No lights, fans, charging, etc. I mean, I have my car for charging my phone, you know? So that's not a big deal, but I would rather take my first trip without those things than wait months for my brother to have time to help me set up the electrical. And electrical is something I'm super, super, super unfamiliar with, so I think I'm just going to leave that to him. And I'm trying not to encroach on his time too much because he's a very busy guy, so I think I'm just going to not have electrical my first trip. And maybe that'll just make me more grateful for when I have electrical next summer. Uh, but I'll keep you updated on whether or not I end up getting electrical before my first trip. Hopefully. Crossing my fingers. But that is all I have today. Like if you like, subscribe if you want to subscribe. Let's get better lighting. There we go. Like if you like, subscribe if you want to subscribe. If you want to follow me, my Instagram where I post every single day of my Instagram right here. It's like my little shelf. Uh, but that's all I have for today. I will talk to you next time. Goodbye! Shout out to all my patrons, but especially my bodega bosses and my OG bodega babes. Jessica, Christina, Marlene, Lucia, Alex, Crates, Ellen, Michelle, Laura, Kaylin, Marielle, Alex, the Planet Earth, Jenny, Gemini, Janine, Curtis, Stacy, Michelle, Eduardo, Chloe, Abigail, Dana, Vanessa, Nakia, Matt, Mariana, LT, Adriana, McKenna, Shanta, and Adrian. 
You guys are the absolute best, and these videos are made possible with your support. If you want to support me non-monetarily, then just subscribe and stick around to watch another video. It shows YouTube that you like my content. I also have a TikTok and an Instagram if you want to check me out there, and merch. Always down in the description. See ya!